I think TED is amazing. I've always loved the TED Talks. And from the first moment I watched TED Talks, I've always wondered why there were no Zimbabweans who weren't giving talks. And it seems like an odd thing to wonder. Why is there no one of this specific nationality not giving a talk? And I think at that time, I just thought, but there are amazing people in our country and there are amazing people who are doing, making change in their own individual spheres of influence. And I thought it's important for us to hear those stories. My name is Mutsa Samuel, and it is my honor to be your host today. Welcome to TEDx 2014 Harare. Welcome to Praxis. For almost two decades, Zimbabweans have waited patiently for better days. Zimbabwe was once considered to be the jewel of Africa. Like any jewel, it has to go through a process of refinement. I believe Zimbabwe is a first world country. Honestly, I do. It's just that it is inhabited by people with a, with a third world mindset. And that's why we've stayed where we are for so long. Through our speakers and through this program, we hope to take you on a journey. And in this journey, we dare to tackle the issues of culture and identity, political and economic reform, and how to think outside of the box and challenge the norm. We need to ask the question first, ladies and gentlemen, who are we? Our culture espouses the notion of Wunu or Ubuntu which is compassion or human kindness. And I feel that we're losing that as a people. When we were planning this program, it started as, okay, let's start at the top and look at the big picture and then percolate and look at, you know, a smaller picture and then let's look at it, at individual actions and individuals who are doing things. So I'm so going to talk to you about separating Siamese twins in a law Resource awesome. It gives me faith for the future of this country that people are willing to do all of this, to come together and talk about ideas. And it's just to talk about ideas. What we must do now is to combine the value systems from independence through to present day. We need to combine less the politicization of our society and political issues only, but to combine everything, everything that affects our society. Organizationally, I think, you know, we depend on the goodwill of people and volunteers. And I'm always, every year, I'm amazed. <laughs> I thought the speakers were amazing. I really loved Vamabasa's talk, especially that it was in Shona, because I think that's going to be the first TEDx talk in Shona. Ngati ite zinu zichani ngano zedu. Zinu zineta kutikana mwanaka anzwa anoti, ayi wa ndinoda kutira. Zinu zineta kutinari kutoki ya singati zivi. Anoti, neniwa ndinoda kutikwa kuti, ngano enyiri kuenda ne kupi. Ine namu, nenunzi. Mombe isi namu skwe. Me being here today is actually an act of desperation. I am desperate that we change the situation we have. I am desperate that we get women and babies and children choices in life. I believe in a better Zimbabwe. And I believe that change starts with each and every one of you sitting here. I challenge each and every one of you in this room each and every one of us that yearns for a better Zimbabwe, a better world, to perform consistent, daily or random acts of genius. This is where we are. This is TEDx Harare. And I'm glad that today went well. I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited for next year.